Susan Reed bikes and kayaks. Her diet is mostly vegetarian. For BMI purposes, I fall right in the normal range. My weight has been normal for the past 25 years. So imagine her surprise when her doctor told her she had a fat problem. Your weight in pounds does not necessarily reflect how much fat you have, nor does it reflect where the fat is located. Pot belly or abdominal fat is much riskier than fat carried on the hips or buttocks. Dr. Stephen Goldstein authored a study that found that BMI charts mislead a lot of people as to their true health status. 20% of the people with normal BMI, normal height and weight, were greater than the 75th percentile for body fat, what we call the skinny fat. The wake-up call for Susan came when she had a modified version of a DEXA scan, the same scan that calculates your bone density and risk for osteoporosis. Only this special version detects all of your lean and fat body mass, and most importantly, where you carry it. Turns out, Susan was what doctors call skinny fat. I was shocked. I've had no other indicators to that would lead me to think that this was a situation. But there are also fat, skinny people who are overweight on BMI charts, but whose fat composition is normal and carried in so-called safer body areas. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS News, New York.